let's have a look at how we can find out the greatest term in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power 4n. Basically, our job is to find which amongst these terms, e0, c1x, c2x square, and so on, is greatest numerically. To achieve that, we follow a very simple algorithm and it can be outlined in the following steps. Step 1 We find out the value of m, which is given by modulus of x multiplied by n plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Now, depending on the value of m, we perform step 2. If m is an integer, then the mth and the m plus 1th term are equal and they are the greatest terms. Else, if m is not an integer, then the greatest integer of m plus 1th term is the greatest term numerically in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power n. Let's take an example to see how this works. What is the greatest term in the expansion of 3 plus 4x whole to the power 10, where x equals 1 by 4? Let's solve this. Remember, the formula that we just learned for finding out m applies only to series of the form 1 plus x to the power n. So we would need to convert 3 plus 4x to the power 10 in terms of 1 plus x to the power n. For that, we can take out 3 to the power 10 common and the series becomes 1 plus 4x by 3 to the power 10. We can substitute the value of x which is 1 by 4 here to get 3 to the power 10 multiplied by 1 plus 1 by 3 to the power 10. Now we can find out m. m is nothing but mod of x n plus 1 divided by x plus 1 which equals 1 by 3 multiplied by 10 plus 1 which is 11 divided by 1 by 3 plus 1 which equals when solved 11 by 4 which would be 2.75. Since this is not an integer, hence the greatest term would be greatest integer of m plus 1th term, which is 2 plus 1, which is the third term, which is given by nc2, which is 10c2, multiplied by 1 by 3 to the power r, which is 1 by 3 whole square. I can solve this further. And my answer comes out to be 45 multiplied by 3 to the power 8. The greatest term in the expansion of 2 plus 3x whole to the power 9, where x equals 3 by 2, is... Your options are the following. 1.5